A line chart is one of the most common and classic types of charts that you can use. It's great for showing a trend and is great for showing a single series of data. Imagine that this is graphing on the vertical axis the company's cash balance and on the horizontal axis the months of the year. So as you can see over time this company is burning money and it's going down to zero by month seven. The line chart makes this point crystal clear. A scatter plot is very useful when you have two series of data that you want to graph together and see if there's a correlation. So what you can imagine here is that on one axis we have say the monthly cash flow of the business and on the other axis we have the average customer acquisition cost. So you might expect that there is a correlation between cash flow and customer acquisition cost. What you would do in Excel is then plot a trend line and see if there is a relationship. The R squared will tell you if there is. This is covered in our Math for Corporate Finance course as well as our budgeting and forecasting course. Here we've got a simple example of a column chart. As you can see, it's got a series of seven data points that are plotted with a very clean looking chart. This is best for time series information. Imagine that the numbers one through seven are months or years, and we can easily read from left to right and see what the trend is with this company. Let's compare that now to a bar chart. With a bar chart, we've got the same information here, but it would be harder to understand time series information reading from bottom to top or top to bottom. Instead, this might be more useful for something like product line sales. Imagine this company sells seven different products and we've graphed the revenue in a particular month or a particular year in this bar chart. Both bar and column charts are extremely useful in financial analysis, but generally speaking, column charts are a bit safer and a bit easier to understand when in doubt err on the side of using a column chart. Let's look at some combination charts. A great combination is to take a column chart and a line chart. What you can do is show, for example, here on the left axis, dollars of revenue in a month, and on the right axis, the net profit margin. So the dollars of revenue would be the orange bars and the net profit margin would be the blue line. By combining the two charts, we can see the relationship between the two. It seems to make sense that as revenue declines, so does the net profit margin. A column and line chart combo works best when you're showing two different types of units. So for example, here we have dollars on one axis and percentages on the other axis. Now let's look at another type of combination, a stacked column. This is taking two column charts and putting them together. This would be great for showing a breakdown of revenue. The blue bars could be one product type and the orange bars another product type, and they add to the total. This wouldn't work well if one was a percentage and one was in dollars. They should be in the same units. We could do the same thing with a stacked bar chart. Here we have the same information just displayed horizontally instead of vertically. Using combination charts is a great way to show more information in one page or one slide. It's also helpful in understanding relationships or breakdowns of things in a presentation. This is a waterfall chart. It's great for showing changes over a period of time. Imagine the data point one is the starting cash balance for this company. Numbers two through six are the incoming cash flow the business generates over months, quarters, or years. And the seventh data point is the closing cash balance at the end. You can really clearly see how it builds. We use waterfall charts in several CFI courses and throughout our presentations as they're very effective in financial analysis. They're great for showing the journey from point A to point B. This is what's called a tornado chart. It's great for showing the impact of sensitivity analysis on a company. It's really just a stacked bar chart. But what's unique about it is that both sides start at zero and then they either go positive or negative to illustrate the impact as being favorable or unfavorable for the business. This is covered in detail in our sensitivity analysis course. It's great for getting quick high level takeaways about what matters most to a business. Now we're going to introduce two types of advanced charts that have to be custom made in Excel. One is called a gauge chart. A gauge chart is great for showing performance relative to some target or threshold. 
you can imagine that there are three levels here, bad, moderate, and good, and 75% is on the good side of this gauge. So it's really like looking at a car and the gauges on a car. Are you in the good, bad, or moderate section of performance? Now let's look at another type of custom chart that has the same effect, a bullet chart. A bullet chart shows the actual result relative to three thresholds again. In this case, anything below 80% is a low score. Between 80 and 90 is a moderate performance, and 90 to 100 is a strong performance. So in this case, we can see an underperformance where the first threshold of target was not even achieved. So these are two very technical charts that we're going to show you how to make in the course. They have to be custom built in Excel from scratch. There is no function to add them automatically.